Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're gonna see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. the Capricorn Cancer. I keep seeing this double card at the bottom, um, but we'll see if it comes out. It's just really standing out to me. Let's see. If you are uh, coming back, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if the card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see. Spirit. How does this person feel about cancer? Okay, so right away we have the Five of Swords. So you could be dealing with someone here, Cancer, who um, likes to play mind games with you, likes to, like when you argue, I feel like there's like a win at all costs, getting the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. You're getting Four Four, so look out for that synchronicity. There's someone here, Cancer, who I feel like you're not speaking to right now. I feel like they've taken a step back. They're, um, you know, thinking about the situation for sure, but there's not conversation happening right now. I feel like this person feels like there's so much to, to process through whatever has happened between the two of you. Um, but this is also someone who I feel like holds back, but won't let you go. Like they can't let you go. Their mind is... Um, even when they try to not think about you, I feel like they do. So any sort of downtime they have, I feel like they're distracting themselves right now, maybe with work or with friends, what have you. Whenever they have downtime, I'm talking even if it's like, you know, um, doing the dishes or like getting dressed or, you know, taking a shower, like those moments where it's just them and their thoughts, I feel like they're thinking about the situation a lot. Um, I do apologize, Cancer. Sometimes when I'm holding the cards, I'm just looking off into uh, my space and I don't realize how I'm holding them. But anyway, yeah, there's someone here who's thinking about you a lot. They, they, their mind won't let you go. Um, tell me about the Five of Swords. We have the Fool. This person does want to reach out to you. Yeah, they want to heal this. You could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. There's someone here who wants to fix things here with you, but they're just, they're thinking. They're thinking, thinking, thinking a lot about this. I'm going to pull on that Four of Swords as well. Um, I feel like this person knows that they can play games with you at times. So this could have been someone who like, you know, uh, pulled back their energy at times or would play games, um, you know, kind of make you chase them a little bit here is what I'm getting. This person wants to reach out. They want to fix this with you. Will they? We'll see their actions and then their intentions, but they're thinking about it a lot. Um, tell me about the Four of Swords, please. We have the Queen of Swords. Whatever your last conversation was with this person, they, yeah, they're, um, there was things said that I feel like were, were very truthful, but were very harsh whether it was this person's doing or you're doing or both, either way, that's how this person feels. So even if you don't feel like you were harsh, this person feels like you were. This person, um, it was like a cold truth that needed to be said, whatever that could have been. Um, but this person wants to reach out. I feel like this person could be younger or maybe there's just like an immaturity here because it's like the way that they would reach out, well, again, we'll see their actions, would be to kind of, downplay what happened and not really address it um and kind of maybe even like make it a little flirty like kind of like oh haha ha, hey like 
haven't talked to you since that huge fight what's up like instead of actually being like hey can we talk about like what happened so there's like a bit of a it's the way this person handles big things I feel like they don't like confrontation um but there's definitely someone here who wants to reach out we're gonna see if they will so let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions will this person take towards cancer please spirit with the eight of pentacles i'm telling like i feel like this there's two messages coming through i feel like this person is distracting themselves with work um like i said so they could be picking up extra shifts they could be um you know working long longer hours maybe they picked up another job there's just someone here who feels like when they're working they don't really think about it i'm telling it's a, it's like that downtime um that they start to think about you in the situation so they're trying not to have that downtime um, but I also feel like there's a part of this person that wants to work on things. Yeah, yeah, wow. Um, so we have the seven and ace of pentacles now. So there's someone here who wants to show you with their actions. This isn't a big talker. Like I said, this is someone who avoids confrontation. They don't like heated arguments, even if they're the one to kind of start them or fuel them. This person will kind of just remove themselves here. This person wants to offer you a fresh start here. They want to work on things. We'll see their intentions. This is someone who, yeah, they're going to offer you a, a fresh start here. Tell me about that Ace of Pentacles. But yeah, they want to come together here with you. Wow. I got little butterflies when that um, Two of Cups came out. It felt like a little bit, um, I don't know, I just got butterflies in my stomach. So maybe you get butterflies with this person, maybe they get butterflies with you. Maybe this connection makes them feel nervous. Um, but yeah, there's just there's someone here who wants to have union here with you. They wanna come together here with you. This is my soulmate card. So, you know, I believe we have multiple soulmates. We have people in our lives that we're meant to meet. Um, there's like a, a pull towards one another. Um, there's you know, we, we feel drawn towards one another. Um, and it's because our souls have some sort of contract, right? Sometimes soulmates are in our life for a long time. Sometimes they're a short time. Sometimes it's friends. Sometimes it's family. Sometimes it's lovers. Um, but there is someone here who wants to come back together here with you. They want a fresh start. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as like they're drawn to you. Like they hold you very close. Like I said, like their thoughts, no matter how hard they try, they can't stop thinking about you. Um... So yeah, this is someone who definitely wants to come together here with you. Okay, let's see their intentions. So expect them to reach out. Like, I feel like they're going to want this fresh start. They're going to want union here with you. So this is going to be like, hey, like, let's meet up. Um, you know, they might even bring you a gift of some sort. This could be someone who, like, offers to make you dinner or something like that. There's going to be a gesture, I feel. Um, let's see their intentions. What is this person's intentions with Cancer? I almost said Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, what is this person's intentions? Thank you. We have the tower. Yeah, expect the unexpected. Scorpio energy. The Queen of Wands. Tell me more. The Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Tower. Yeah, this person wants to have a conversation with you. They intend to have a... There's that Devil card again. They intend to have a conversation here that kind of like reveals the truth about what happened here. I feel like for some of you, only take this if this resonates. If there was some other third energy here that interfered in this connection in some way i feel like this person wants to talk about it i feel like they want to say the truth they intend to to reveal all the truth about it um this person it can't sleep it's bothering them so if maybe a friend told you about something or you heard about something or maybe there was something online that you saw that kind of like gave you a hint or maybe your intuition was just telling you cancer that there could have been some sort of other energy involved in some way maybe it was like you know, an ex of theirs or not, someone new or something like that. It, it caused this disruption and this person wants to talk about that. This person wants to have a conversation about that. Only take that if it resonates. Um, let me just pull on this Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Wow. Yeah. 
the five of, of wands, you have three aces on the board, the five of wands, the six of pentacles. Yeah, this person could have been giving their attention or their energy to someone else here. It could, they could have just been like, it's just a friend, right? And then maybe you caught them flirting or something like that. Um, there was there was fight fighting over this. There was like a sense of competition here with this five of wands. But again, this person wants a fresh start here with you. There's three aces on the board. So this person, you know, it's almost like this big tower moment needed to happen because if this person was going on, you know, kind of flirting with this person or what have you and not telling you about it, you know, I, I feel like they, they had anxiety about it, but they kept doing it, which is like where the mind games come in, right? This person I feel was, was spreading their energy to places they shouldn't have been. And I feel like, um, they want a fresh start here with you. Like all these aces, this person's like, I just want to wipe the slate clean and just start over here with cancer. That's how it feels. I want to give them my energy. I want to talk about what happened. Again, this is their intention, remember. So their actions are, are more of a gesture. But in their mind, they're like, I should really have this conversation, right? So just know that their intentions look like they want to speak the truth and they want to have this fresh start. Will it happen? Obviously, that'll be different for everyone, but their intentions look like, their intentions look like genuine, like they want to actually talk about it. They want to have that conversation. Um, let's see the, the potential outcome here. Cancer, what is the potential outcome between Cancer and this person, please, Spirit? Two of Swords, indecision here. Yeah, you could feel like you, you can't trust this person maybe, right? Like. Is there some sort of, is there something I'm missing with this person or that I will be missing, you know, um, especially if there was some sort of en other energy involved, you might wonder, is that going to happen again? Are they truly out of the picture? Um, I was about to say, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the Six of Cups because it kept trying to come out. There's a lot of, there's history between the two of you, right? This person wants to get back to those good times, even if it is just as friends. I have to be completely honest with you here because there is this energy coming through of even if we can just be friends right um and maybe for some of you you're like well no there, too much has happened but there is this energy of wanting to come back together of nostalgia here kind of having more of those happy memories um but i feel like there's there's a choice to be made here tell me more the knight of pentacles yeah it it's like a slow build right? It's like, if we're going to do this, whether it's a friendship or a relationship, I feel like it's, we're going to take things like extremely slow here. We're not going to rush things. We're, you know, um, back to basics, basically. If it's going to be a fresh start, it's going to be like, you know, we don't know each other. It's going to be like you get getting to know someone all over again. And of course you have history with this person. So of course you know them. Um, but that's how it feels. It feels like let's start fresh right from the beginning. Cause this tower, I always say with the tower, it's like, a, it's like building a house on sand, right? So it collapses. And so whatever's been going on isn't working anymore. The whole thing has to come down. I'm just getting that, that picture of, for those of you that follow me, you know, I love Disney movies, that scene from Encanto where the, the house, I don't want to give anything away. So hopefully spoiler alert. Um, the, the house breaks, the whole foundation comes down, right? And then they have to rebuild it um, because the foundation that it was built on was not a good one, right? It's a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Disney movies are just so good lately. Um, the message is behind them. But anyway, um, there's a slow build here. But, but I do feel like there's hesitancy here with that two of swords. Yeah, because there's heartbreak here. There's pain. Tell me about that three of swords. The Page of Swords. It's like, I need to know more about what happened, especially if there was another energy involved. I need to know what went on. I need to know, and when I say I, it could be you, it could be this person. Maybe there was a third energy on both your ends. Take it as it resonates. But there's just this energy of like, if we're going to start fresh and we're going to do this, I need to know it all. So there has to be this conversation. And like I said, I don't feel like this person is the conversationalist. I feel like you might have been cancer. Maybe the one to initiate conversation, what have you. Um, but yeah, this this there's just this energy of like, I need to know. Gather the information to understand what happened here. Right? And I feel like this person will even share like they have been actually quite sad. Perhaps you didn't know that they were. Um, 
So we have Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, a little bit of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean that it's not them, right? It's just the energy that's coming through. How will Cancer know who this is? Whoa. We have the Seven of Wands and the Page of Cups. Could have been someone you blocked or you just felt like was very defensive. Again, could be younger than you. Like there could be like this immaturity here. They don't have to be though. Um, could be a younger water sign, but it's someone here who wants to apologize, I feel. But again, I will say, I feel like their apologies can come off really... Like, I, I feel like when the pages apologize, it's like it does, the apology doesn't match what happened, if that makes sense. It's like this person acknowledges what they did, but their apology comes off as very nonchalant. It comes off as not as um, encompassing of what actually happened. Anything else for how Cancer will know who this is? We have the Eight of Cups and the King of Cups. Yeah, someone that walked away or you walked away from. Someone who could have been in and out, hot and cold. Could have ghosted you. Um, but someone who has a lot of love here for you. There's a lot of love. I always say with the King of Cups. The King of Cups loves so deeply. He sits on an ocean of love. And just because it's a king doesn't mean it has to be a male. Um, we all have masculine and feminine energy. But the King of Cups has a hard time offering up their cup of love at some at times. So it can feel you can feel the love at times, but they don't always say it. They don't always give it the, maybe the way that, um, you know, the Queen of Cups would. The Queen of Cups is like very open with, with her love, right? Um, but yeah, someone who walked away or you walked away from here. It could be a water sign like yourself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Any advice for Cancer? We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups. Now you're getting Nine Nine. That Four of Wands was just trying to come out. I feel like whatever, yeah, Ten of Wands. Here's the thing. I feel like Cancer, there is potential here for so much happiness, whether it's with this person or not. There's wish fulfillment here. There's just pure joy, but it's surrounded by this like wounded warrior, heavy energy. Right. So whether this is a past or whether you feel like it's this person that brings this energy and you can't feel this nine of cups with them around, just focus on your nine of cups. Get back to what feels good for you. You know, self-care, doing the things you love. Um, if you have a if you have this wall up and maybe rightfully so with this person, I feel like it's stopping you from even enjoying the things that you enjoy right? Maybe even nothing to do with them. So I feel like spirit's really asking you to just kind of, it's almost like, it feels like there's this piece of gold and it's kind of like surrounded by all this mud and the mud is like the walls up and like the fear and, you know, the heaviness and, and the negative energy. And it feels like you just kind of have to like chip away at it and kind of just like appreciate the gold. Um, that's a very specific metaphor and analogy that's coming through for me, but that's how I'm seeing it. Um, so yeah, just focus on like what makes you happy here because I feel like I feel like you're a very happy person, Cancer. I feel like you bring a lot of joy to what you do, whether it's with people or work or what have you. So um, yeah, focus on that. Even if it's just getting out in the sunshine, I feel. But let's see the hidden messages for you here, Cancer. Any hidden messages for Cancer from this person, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. I know I messed up everything. So again, this is someone who's very aware of what has gone on. It's not that they're unaware, Cancer. It, it just feels like there's they're kind of at a loss. They don't know which step to take next here. And like I said, when it comes to apologies, this person could really struggle with that because they feel like they don't know what to say or do. We have, I will wait for a sign from you. So perhaps this is someone who's waiting for you to reach out first to kind of initiate conversation or what have you. Um, we have, I depend on you too much to let you go. I have codependency issues. So this could have been someone who was codependent, but again, the, what was coming through very strong for how they feel is they can't let you go. Their thoughts won't even let them. Like even when they try to not think about you, they can't. Um, which is why they're distracting themselves. And then we also got, I know that you may not feel for me as I feel for you. So this could have been someone who felt like they put more into the connection or they loved you more. They had more feelings for you because like I said, the King of Cups did come out. Maybe they didn't feel like you 
felt that way about them even though they didn't offer their love that's why it's coming off as like mind games because it's like this person has so much love for you but they didn't necessarily say it or show you in the way that would have been obvious so then they're left thinking like oh i don't think cancer loves me the way i love them but you're left sitting there like what do you mean i don't even know if you love me or not because you don't show right so it's like this it's like it feels like mind games with this person um, we have, I feel abandoned by you and it is triggering my childhood trauma. So I, this person, you know, well, unfortunately so many of us suffer from, you know, abandonment issues. This person could have that and that's why they're not reaching out because they feel like, oh, everyone leaves me anyway. Um, we also got, no one else makes me feel the way you do, but I'll take it to the grave before I tell you. I'm telling you, this person has so much love for you, but it's like, it's so hard for them to, to open up to say what they need so maybe that's that's the deal breaker right there cancer if that's that ten of wands energy where it feels like this is so much work to even get you to let me know how you feel like this isn't going to work for me you know um because especially as a water sign cancer i feel like emotions and talking about them and processing through them and being open with them is very important to you so if this person isn't like that it could feel like this person doesn't care um and that can feel heavy that can feel burdensome I do see, uh, I know what I'm doing. I play dumb to keep you confused. And then I do see, I love you. And I was afraid that you would reject me if I shared my feelings to you. So I feel like all of those um, are actually relevant. <laughs> we got, I couldn't let you get close to me. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I want you. I never take um, cards from the bottom like this, but when I feel drawn to it, I mean, that just worked perfectly for the message coming through. Um, messages for cancer. Please. <clears throat> we have Earth Mother. Feel loved and comforted. This always reminds me. This actually isn't the Empress card in this deck, but it reminds me of the Empress card. I feel like just embrace that feminine energy of, you know, you deserve to be loved. And if this person can't love you in the way that you need cancer, it's not easy, but that's also why that page is, or that Three of Swords could be there. It could be like, okay, this has to end right? Um, I'm gathering information about you. I'm understanding like you just can't open up emotionally. Maybe we just need to end this then. Of course, only take that if you feel like it would resonate, but just know that spirit's with you as well. And then we have summer, bask in joy and light. So like I was saying with that nine of cups energy, like even just getting out into the sunlight. Um, I also feel like there could have been a lot of memories made in the summertime with this person. Um, so don't forget those positive memories, but also get back to doing those things just for you um we do have reconsider so like i said this person could ask you to reconsider you could reconsider we got success so i feel like either what that that's reminding me of that nine of cups too here even like the figures on here i feel like you just enjoying yourself is gonna be really it yeah just do that cancer because it feels like so much good will come from it we do have perfect timing so you were definitely meant to meet this person when you were supposed to. And then we have forgiveness. Yeah. Cancer, it's not easy to forgive, right? It's not. Um, but it releases such a heavy burden on us when we can. We have hold your vision. So that could even be, and then we have take time to breathe out. But this hold your vision, I feel like, um, I feel like that could even be work related, but you know, if you picture coming back together with this person, if you picture having a reconciliation of, you know, peaceful resolution, forgiving, you know, keep that in your mind, keep that energy. Um, Cause I feel like it's powerful. And then we have deep knowing number 43. So you could be seeing fours, threes, or even um, sevens. Um, let's see. There's something rocking in there. 43. There are occasions when you just know. Oh, sorry. That was the relationship message. Um, protection. Plan. You are in empathy overload and need to get grounded again. So tune out for a bit. Is this the right? Yes. Um, hypersensitive. You're suffering from psychic exhaustion. This signals a time for a recharging of your batteries. Set energetic boundaries. Take a salt bath. Empty your mind and get back to you. There. That, that was exactly your advice as well. It's not a time to be too open. Soon enough, you can let your guard down. Right now, you need self-care and self-love. It's time to say no thank you to anyone in your life who exhausts you. Won't that feel good? I mean, that was exactly your advice coming through there. Um, 
so thank you spirit yeah just like there's just a this really strong message from spirit to just get back to you do the things you love and and oftentimes that can feel like well what you know day to day i got work to do i have responsibilities think about the things you used to love doing as a child um for instance that th those things you could do for hours and time would just fly um that can often help you get back to like what do i just love doing how do i love spending my time but i feel like even getting out into the sunlight i feel like sunlight is is very very important right now it's that summer card and the nine of cups yeah i just feel like um even just sitting in the sun for you know 10 minutes i feel like will make a huge difference okay so these could be initials of you of this person maybe numbers you've been seeing um birth dates you know there's actually no numbers here but just take it as it resonates um if something here doesn't resonate with you though don't uh it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So just don't take it if it doesn't resonate. But we do have J, we have O, G, we have T, L, W, and E. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated for you, Cancer. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy, sending you so much love and light.